Our senior year, 1982, uh, we had a dynamite season. We started off a little rocky, lost to St. John's. We lost at home, which our rivals was high point. We were one four after our first five games, but then we went on a stretch where um, I think we won 19 games in a row on getting to Cole Fieldhouse and, and the, uh, the state final game. High Point had a big man named Vernon Butler. Vernon Butler was this big kid, looked like an a ex-Marine. Had a Marine cut, he had a Philly, we called it back in the day. Northwestern was a very high scoring team. They averaged probably 70, 80 points a game. We did as well. And so it was a little bit of nip and tuck back and forth. If he gave him an inch, he took a mile, and he actually punished us a couple times. And he had one of those uh, Jim Rowling thunderous two-handed dunks, and that actually helped get the crowd back into it as well. And there was a different, definite shift in momentum at that point. And near the end of the game, um, you know, it became close. The final few seconds where the game actually had been tied, and uh, we were inbounding the ball. There was a collision around midcourt, and the ball actually went out of bounds. Two seconds left on the clock. They threw the ball into Vernon, and then it was on top of Vernon. Vernon came all the way out to get the ball and standing right in front of me. I sprinted to the ball and grabbed it. I knew there was only about a second and a half left on the clock. So as I got it, Lenny was coming up on defense, and it was out by the hash mark by the, uh, the coach's box. And I just launched the shot. He made a shot from about what used to be the hash mark on the basketball court and knocked it in for them to win by two. To be able to, uh, to you know, play against Northwestern, against Lenny, and be able to beat the best really meant something. <laughs>